Hello ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome once more to my channel. This is your uncle man, Mr. Equity. And on this channel we say he that comes to equity should come with clean hands. Equity is all about fairness, equity is all about justice to all. So we want equity for all Nigerians. You're welcome to my channel once more. This is a channel where I give us up, uh, updated information um, on politics, metro news, and other trending information. Um, this morning, I have a very um, important news to share with us. But before I continue, I want to plead with you to um, subscribe. If you have, if you are yet to subscribe, I want you to encourage me. When you subscribe, you are encouraging me to remain on air to bring you more news. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, this this day we have uh, um, a trending news. Um, the news goes with the caption: Monument, "Monumental tragedy has befallen our people," says a funny ferry on kidnapping. Um, it's not a pleasant news. It still has to do with uh, men and kidnapping. Um, the story goes like this. Afani Ferry, the apex Yoruba social political organization, says people are now afraid to travel on the road in the southwest due to frequent cases of kidnapping. In a statement on Sunday, Yinka Odumakin, National Publicity Secretary of the group, described the situation as a monumental tragedy for people living in the region. Afani Ferry accused governors in the region of trivializing what the people are going through as a result of insecurity on the roads. The group described a statement issued on behalf of the governors by uh, Down, Down Commission, a social political organization that, that the region is safe as an insult on the people. I find it very welcomes the decision of Southwest governors to do something over the siege on Yoruba land by Fulani Hesman Militia, he said. The situation has degenerated to the point that our people are now afraid to travel on most of the roads in the zone as their safety cannot be guaranteed. Hmm, this is so terrible. It could be sad if the quoted words from down represent the views of our governors in the midst of the monumental tragedy that has befallen our people in the hands of invading maruders. The Yoruba lady raped for six days by Fulani Hesmen in the presence of her nine-year-old daughter and husband will cause the authors of this. The professor at Ife, who narrated his ordeal in the hand of Fulani kidnappers, could regret sharing the same nationality with those issuing this kind of statement. Of course, the several people that have been killed on our land should be weeping in their grave now. Our people could not mind if they are reading this from Meeti Allah in this in this grievous moment, but coming from their own is insult upon injury. We encourage our people not to be despondent at this moment. Nothing good or bad lasts forever. This too shall pass. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, you have heard the story. Um, it's still the issue of... Uh, the Fulani Hesmen, um, they have installed fear into the life of most Nigerians. Um, this has put the people in Southwest under serious siege. People are no more safe to travel on the road since there is no sure of safety of life. No one wants to set out on a journey that you're not sure of arriving your destination, you know, in peace. This is a very serious issue for concern and um, the earlier the state governors at the regional level um, the earlier the president the police the military rise up to the occasion and defend the poor masses this is the primary responsibility of government to defend lives and properties you know to defend lives and properties and the federal government is busy asking people to surrender their gun when in actual sense, they should go after the Fulani headsmen and take away their gun. 
How do you take away guns from people when the government is not there to secure them? Even with the gun the people have, they can't even stand the fire uh, power of the Fulani Hesmen because of the level of the sophistication of the weapon they carry. And upon that, the federal government is asking that the local hunters, people who have licensed weapons, should surrender them so that the Fulani Hesmen can run over the whole of this country. My God, this is absurd. Anyway, um, I don't know what you think about this, but I want to encourage you to put your comment below. Um, let's continue to keep this issue of Fulani Hesmen in the front burner. Uh, put your comment below, subscribe, and then uh, give me the thumb up, uh, hit the thumb up button, um, button that is to encourage me to um, upload you more interesting news. Um, till I come your way again, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, subscribe and keep listening to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, Amen.